Cecil's Old Mill. I love those little country stores place has around here. Hello friends, my name is Colin. Hope everybody's having an outstanding day. It's November and it's 71 degrees. I cannot believe that. That's outstanding. Normally at this time in uh, Maryland, it'd probably be around the 45, 50 mark. So I'm not bitching about it at all. I'm out here enjoying this uh, beautiful day on some of the back roads in Southern Maryland. So the other day I was um, riding uh, the Street Glide Special and I was thinking, what are the absolute must have items uh, that you keep in your saddlebag on trips, whether it be a long trip or even a short trip, things that no matter what, you're gonna have these in your saddlebag. And there's one thing recently that I purchased, is about a couple months back, that it's one of these things that you think you'll never need, but if you do use it the one time, it pays for itself. That's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm sure I'll get a lot of different varieties of answers on this question, but like, what are your top two or top three things that you must have in your saddlebag or things when you're riding? I mean, like for me, these things like, and I'm not talking about just like clothing or, you know, like gear or things like that. I'm talking about kind of like necessities that on a trip, kind of like that insurance factor, right? And uh, like the top two I have are uh, a first aid kit. And uh, I'm glad I have this in my bike. I mean, actually, uh, it was a couple years back. I was riding the uh, back of the Dragon with a couple friends, well, several friends, and uh, one of them high-sided and uh, dropped his bike, and he got a ton of road rash, and I think there was like six or seven bikes at the time. And uh, of all those bikes, uh, I'd say four of them had first aid kits, including me. The second thing, um, and it won't necessarily, because I got to get a converter for this one, but I have it on the Street Glide Special, is the air compressor, right? I mean, how often if your tires get low and, you know, like one of those things, I have the one where it hooks to your, uh, you know, whatever, the, the cigarette lighter, whatever they call it. But this third thing I'm going to talk about is something that I picked up recently. And, and funny is, I've never actually met somebody that has it that rides a motorcycle. I know they're out there now, because I, after I bought it, I found this out. But uh, I, I got this idea because my neighbor, I think it was during the summer, he was um, out mowing his lawn and everything. And then I went out and chatted with him, seeing how he was doing. And afterwards, he was saying, I got to get rid of this freaking tractor, man. This thing, this battery never starts. And I'm like, well, how'd you, would you jump it? And she, he's like, yeah. And he showed me this little thing called a NOCO, like battery starter. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to actually go back to my garage and show you this whole setup I did on this bike and uh, how I'm going to do the same thing for the Street Glide Special. This unit cost $100 and comes with a couple things. The unit itself, uh, the battery clamps, a 12 volt adapter that you could charge your car if you wanted to. Uh, it has um, this case right here and it also gives you a cable to uh, charge this thing up once it goes down. Now. As you see over here, I purchased a couple extra accessories. Uh, the first thing I did is got this thing called the GBC007. Uh, it's called a connector adapter. And what that does is it connects to the bike. I'm gonna explain that in just a second. And then I bought a carrying case. Now it does come with this one, but I wanted a little bit more um, safety, I guess, with this whole unit. So instead of just having it in the bag, I purchased this. Now with this thing right here, it's pretty cool because it will hold everything it'll hold the actual charger and then inside here you can put your clamps um, and then i also picked up this little uh, wall adapter as well now the whole design of this unit is to use these clamps and then life is good but with the motorcycle i'd recommend using this uh, connector adapter and what that does is, is you connect this unit to the actual motorcycle battery and then on the other end of the connector adapter that's where you would plug in your boost and it just makes it so much either i actually only have one of these right now on the pan america but i ordered a second one for the street glide special and in a minute here i'll show you what it looks like on the bike a couple other features on this thing before i show you how it works uh, it has a flashlight also so like you can hit that flashlight button right there and uh, let's push it and then there you go and i believe it has up to six or seven different modes like right now there's your regular flashlight then you can um Let's see, I'll start it over again. Then you can change the brightness of it. And then it has an SOS, which is right there, which is pretty cool. 
And then, let's see, I guess I'm hitting these too damn fast. Uh, there's your SOS. There it is, there's your emergency lights as well. So I like that. And then, then on this side right here, so on the unit, they have a, a USB out and a USB in. So this is where you're actually gonna charge your uh, unit once it uh, loses all its charge. And this is cool, so you have an extra USB, like 2.1 amp, that you can like charge a phone with it or any other, like a camera, stuff like that. Give you an overview of how this thing works. So on this side right here, that's your port that you plug the clamps into or this um, connector adapter, which I'm gonna show you guys here soon uh, on the motorcycle. But like you take your clamps here and on one end, and it's got a little cover here for you, which is nice. Uh, see how that is? You plug this in to right here. I have it backwards? Yeah, I did. You plug that in, and then when you're ready to start, you obviously you clamp these red first, then uh, black, obviously, just like if you're jumping any battery, uh, and then you hit the power button. So right now, when you look at this power button, when you first turn it on, this white light right here just shows that it's powered. There's a flashlight I just showed you a second ago. Over here is your charge light, how much of a charge you actually have on this uh, GB40. Uh, it's fully charged right now, so it's all the way to green, but I think it's 100%, then it goes down to 75, 50, then 25. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little like error message right here. That flash is red if your polarity is um, reversed, so it'll flash say, hey, not connected right, or if the battery's too hot. So that has like an error message that our little flashlight that pops up there. When you actually connect it to the battery, and we'll see it when we do it in a second here, this white light right here under the, or above the 12 volt number, uh, when that is white, that means you're connected. So it'll show white, it's called the boost uh, light, I guess. And this thing detects um, down to two volts. So it's designed for the 12 volts, but if it's the battery's below two volts, that won't come on. That's where this thing comes in. See this little um, exclamation point? That's your manual override. So if your battery is that dead, you can actually hit that button to send uh, the unit of charge to your uh, motorcycle or, to, or your battery. And then you would click that, that's your manual override. But most of the applications, most of the time, you won't have to use that. This will pop on. Couple other things on this. NOCO claims that uh, you can get up to 20 jumps on one single charge, which is nice. Uh, another thing is when you first connect this or when you connect it to the battery, you don't normally have to wait. So sometimes you wait like 30, 40 seconds on a, on a normal jump. But with this, you can start it right away. Now, saying that, there are applications, depending on the battery and everything, that you might need to wait 20 or 30 seconds, but most applications, you just, once this is plugged in and uh, connected, you can start the bike up and then you're good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is kind of show you how I did this, kind of my setup with the uh, GBC-007 on the bike. Even though on some motorcycles, getting to the battery isn't that difficult, but still nonetheless, like even on the street glide, I'd have to take the seat off and the cover to get to it. With this thing, like on this bike, on the Pan America, um, much easier because on the Pan America, I actually have to take off the skid plate to get to the battery and that would be to use the clamps. This thing's only 25 bucks, so it's well worth it. So, and I, the length of this is a little over 18 inches. So you just take, um, you get the two ring terminals, hook it to the battery, and then that hooks to this. So like on this bike, and it has the cover too for weather cover, but I have it tucked in. Like when I'm done, I just tuck it in under here and it fits perfectly like in this spot. And like on the Street Glide Special, I could do this uh, very similar. I, I'm gonna do it like right under the seat. Uh, once I connect it to the battery, so I'll have access to this too. But how this works is uh, I'm going to take the GB40 here, I'm going to plug this in, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Take the front of this thing where your uh, 12 volt outs are, those two right there, and then you just take this, obviously take off the weather cover here, plug it in, then once you're ready, you just hit the power button here, and what'll happen is it'll show that it's flashing, that's just saying that it's working. Now, remember I was telling you earlier about the boost light. So right now this boost light is on. And then all I would have to do next is just start the bike. So if your battery's dead and you plug this in, your bike's gonna start right up. So it's a great little addition to add to the saddlebag or 
any bike you have, I'd highly recommend this. So hopefully uh, this video was helpful. Now get out there and ride. Be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.